And back here in the east, gas shortages have sent many people looking for a place to fill their tanks. Not on your side, Ford Sanders joins us live in Greenville with more about the state of fuel in our area. Ford, good morning. Good morning, Julianne. Yeah, take a look behind me here at this gas station that I met. They're completely out of gas. Now, you look at these pumps, their bags, some of them reading out of order, and a worker here even told me that they've been out of fuel since yesterday. Now, when it comes to getting pumps filled back up, the U.S. Secretary of Energy, Jennifer Granholm, also said and confirmed that the Colonial Pipeline has been restored. Now, with the reboot, gas supplies are not expected to return to normal until the end of this week. People across town began to line up to try and get their hands on a full tank. Now, I saw multiple people bring their own tanks and jugs to fill up with gas, claiming it was just to help them get to work for the next couple of days. I actually helped a gentleman. Um, he gave me some cash to fill up the tank, so just because he was worried about getting to work tomorrow. So I think that's important, you know, helping you, looking out for each other, not hoarding the gas. Manning also tells me she's been making a conscious effort to stay home as much as possible and avoid any panic buying at the pumps. Now, another important thing to note, the head of petroleum analysis at the popular fuel app Gas Buddy says that over se around 74% of North Carolina gas stations are without any fuel at all. Now, as more numbers and information comes in, we will update you over at WNCT.com. Live in Greenville, Ford Sanders, 9 on your side.